WorkShare is an unemployment option that helps businesses retain their workforce during a temporary slowdown in work. The program allows employers to voluntarily reduce the hours of staff in a particular unit, shift, or company from 10% to 50% in lieu of layoffs. The reduction must be temporary and not related to seasonal or intermittent downturns. Under WorkShare, employees of the business will be allowed to collect a partial unemployment benefit to help them offset the loss of income. WorkShare helps businesses keep trained workers during a temporary downturn, and it helps workers stay connected to jobs and maintain their skills. To apply for participation in the WorkShare program, begin by logging into your employer account at maine.gov slash reemployme. Select Employer Login. Enter your user ID and password and select Submit. Before you can access WorkShare, you must first add the WorkShare application role to a user profile, including your own. Begin by selecting My User Profile from the main menu. Employers may add up to five individuals who can access your account. Select Add User. Add the information for the user, name, user ID, and a strong password. For question six, select the functions you want the user to have access to. Selecting the WorkShare application checkbox will add the WorkShare option to the user's main menu. Enter and confirm an email address and acknowledge the statement authorizing the new user. Select Next to continue. The new user appears on the list of employer account users. They will now be able to log in to the employer's Reemployee Me account with their own user ID and password. You can repeat this process to add another user or select Home to return to the main menu. Reminder If you don't see the WorkShare tab on the main menu, you will have to edit your own profile to add the WorkShare application. From your portal home screen, select the WorkShare menu option. Next, select WorkShare Application. The WorkShare Employer Application Introduction screen contains general information about the WorkShare program with links to further details. Selecting the PowerPoint slideshow link opens a presentation that describes the program, its benefits, and how it may be used by employers. A PDF document of this presentation is also available. Selecting the Calculation Page link brings up a worksheet for determining whether an employer is eligible for the WorkShare program. After reviewing each of these presentations, continue by selecting Next. The Self-Assessment screen presents six questions that will determine whether an employer may be eligible to participate in the WorkShare program. Answer the questions as applicable, using the Calculation Page hyperlinks for help if necessary. These questions are to determine eligibility only, and answers will not be saved in the system. When all questions have been addressed, select Next. During this process, at various points, there are opportunities to cancel or go back. Cancel will discontinue the application process and return you to the home screen. Back will take you back one screen, which may be useful for making changes or corrections. Use these buttons with care, but they are there if you need them. Based on the answers you provided, one of two messages will appear on the screen. If you answered yes to any of the first four questions, or no to questions five or six, then WorkShare may not be a good fit for you. If you have questions regarding your potential eligibility for WorkShare, please call 207-623-6783. If you answered no to questions 1 through 4 and yes to questions 5 and 6, you may qualify for WorkShare. Select Next to continue. The next screen outlines the information you will need in order to continue your application. Review the list, make sure you have all the information at hand, and select Next to continue. 
enter the mailing address for your business. If the physical address is different than the mailing address, select No for question 2, and provide the physical address as well. If you need to finish your application at a later time, you can select Finish Later. This option saves all information entered up to, but not including, the current screen. Select Next to continue. On the Representative Details screen, provide contact information for the primary employer representative for coordination of your WorkShare plan, as well as for the official who is ultimately responsible for certifying the information on the application is accurate and for accepting the terms of use. If an alternate representative can be named, enter their contact information as well. Select Next to continue. On the next screen, enter the details of the WorkShare plan, including start and end dates. Here you will also upload the employee notification template. Answer all required questions and select Next. If employees at your business are represented by a collective bargaining agreement, select Yes for Question 1 and select Next. Answer all questions pertaining to the bargaining agent and select Assigned Document for Upload. Select Next to continue. Confirm the list of agents and included documents. To add another entry, Select Add Agent. Select Delete to remove an agent. To continue on, select Next. On the Unit Details screen, answer all the required questions about the specific plant, department, or other work unit consisting of two or more employees. Helper links will bring up notes to provide further information about the question being asked. Enter all applicable details and select Next. For each WorkShare unit, enter details for each unit employee. Select Add Employee to continue adding to the unit. When all employees have been entered, select Next. Remember, the Finish Later button saves information entered prior to the current screen. Information on this screen may be lost unless you select Next to continue. Verify the unit information. To review, select View Details. Select Add New Unit to add additional different working units, or select Next to verify and continue. The Agreement Details screen presents a list of statements which must be acknowledged and agreed to by the official representative identified previously on the Representative Details screen. Review all statements, and if needed, review the details of state law by opening the hyperlink in Question 11. Check all boxes as applicable and select Next. Finalize the application by reviewing and checking the boxes on the Certify and Submit screen. Add additional remarks if desired. Sign the application by entering the name of the certifying representative. Enter the date and select Submit. The confirmation screen indicates the application has been successfully submitted. You will receive notification with approval or denial of the WorkShare plan after the application has been reviewed by staff at the Bureau of Unemployment Compensation. This notification, as well as other correspondence related to WorkShare, will be sent to the email address entered for the primary employer representative in the application process. From here, you may enter the WorkShare dashboard or select Home to return to the home screen. The WorkShare program helps employers during a temporary slowdown in work. If your business meets the criteria, Employees of the business may collect partial unemployment benefits to help them offset the loss of income. WorkShare helps businesses keep trained workers during a temporary downturn, and it helps workers stay connected to jobs and maintain their skills.
Thank you for your attention to this tutorial. If you have questions, customer service representatives are available at 207-623-6783. And additional information can be found at maine.gov unemployment employers.